Here we have two objects with similar characteristics. The objects have metal hooks in them. And they have roughly the same dimensions. Now there are two bottles of water. And we're going to place each of the objects in separate bottles. Let's see what happens. So the object in the right bottle floats on top, the object in the left bottle sank and then over a period of time rose slowly back to the top and floats on the surface. Let's take the objects out of each bottle and switch them and put them in the opposite bottles. What do you think will happen? So the results matched as before. The object in the right bottle floats and the object in the left bottle sank and then rose slowly again. Well let's take the object from the right bottle and put it in the left bottle with the other object. What do you think is going to happen? This result matched our previous results. Any object placed in this bottle sinks at first and then rises to the top. Well, let's change this up. Let's put both objects into the bottle on the right at the same time. What do you think is going to happen? This matched the previous results as well. Each time we place an object into the bottle at the right, the objects don't really sink at all. They float and stay at the top. Well, let's extend this experiment one more time. Based on the previous results we have already gotten, what do you think will happen when we place the two objects in the left bottle at the same time? Will it match our previous results? What do you think is going to happen?
At first, it did seem like the results didn't match as before, but slowly over time, that last object did slowly rise to the top. This leads us to our final question. What causes the different results in the two different bottles? I did tell you that both bottles have water in them. Click on the Solution tab to see the second video for the results.